top of the Monday morning to you. Beautiful morning here, low 50s this morning. It was awesome. Um, on the way down here, being Monday, thinking about everything I got to do at work. I'm just kind of driving in zone mode. And then I realized, you know, I'm kind of over the center line. God made sure nobody else was coming. Because I was so focused on everything else that I had to go through the day. I wasn't paying attention to where I was going. And that made me think. That happens a lot at church. How many times have you been sitting there in the pew doodling just because you have to go put in your presence, but you're not really there? You're not paying attention to what is going on around you. You're not listening to the sermon, which I'll tell you right now. 90% of what's coming from that pulpit, I would almost guarantee you, is something that that preacher is going through at that time. And he is preaching to himself, not to the congregation. It's not the preacher's job to give you something. It's your job to research the scriptures and get your own spiritual food. They can be there kind of help lead you on and answer questions. But you need to be in this word and learning. Because otherwise, if you just go through without focus on anything, you're putting your life in danger. And I'm not talking about your mortal life. I'm talking about your spiritual life. So, that's the little short thing I had today. So, I had the pleasure of filling a pulpit Sunday. Got to talk about Thomas, who's fast becoming one of my favorite apostles. You know, instead of calling him Doubting Thomas, he should be Thomas the Risk Taker. Thomas the Inquisitor. Or Thomas the Witness. Get into him, you'll find Thomas is so amazing. There's so many lessons to be learned from his only three times that he spoke. So... I wish you well. Have a tremendous week. But you know, stay focused. This is where I lose track. I get to go on too much on other stuff and I do not stay focused in the Word or stay focused on my prayers. And tell you the truth, when I do prayers at church, I feel very unworthy and uncomfortable because I know what thoughts run through this brain and what comes out this mouth. And so I am totally unworthy to petition prayers to God for other people. But they asked me to do it. So if they're asking me to do it, then God has prodded me to do it. So, you know, listen to him, follow him. Be blessed. I truly am.